Hi, and in today's report writing series, I'm going to show you how to insert, edit and format your page numbers. So again, here is our default document we've been working on, and I'm just going to zoom in. OK, so here we are on the first page of our document, which is our contents page. Now, you may or may not want your page numbers to be on this particular page, and that's absolutely fine and something we can format when we go into inserting our page numbers. So the way in which we do this, there's two ways to access page numbers. You can either grab your cursor and double click at the bottom of your page and that will automatically take you to your footer. If you just click out of that onto the main body of the document, you'll come out of your footer. Alternatively, if you go to insert and then you can go to this section here. You can go directly to page numbers from here clicking on the drop down and select page numbers and then here in this dialog box you have a variety of options you can click on the drop down and select from top or bottom of page depending on where you want your page number and then in the alignment here we can select where you want to align your page number so I'm going to click center I'm going to put mine at the bottom and then let's just go into format quickly you can then select from this option here whether you want letters or numbers or other options you can of course include chapter numbers and then here you can select whether you want your number to start from number one or number two and we'll come back to sections shortly so let's just make this simple and start at one click OK and then just looking at this box here it says show number on first page. Now ordinarily if you haven't inserted a cover page and you just have a normal page at the front of your document you can select this or uncheck this depending on whether you want that first page to show a page number. So let's just click it and let's just go to OK. So we've now shown this on our first page because Word has recognized this is a cover page. So let's just take out this cover page and as you can see there's a zero here because that will always be identified as the cover page. So let's just take out these page numbers, double click, highlight it and delete. Just grab the end of that and just delete that. Okay, now go back up to insert Go to page number, click page number, and now uncheck this element here, show number on first page, go to format, and at the moment it's starting from zero, so let's start it at one, and click OK. Click OK again, so now you can see we've got number one on our first page, and continuing on down our document. So this can get a little confusing depending on what you have within your document, whether you have a cover page or not a cover page. Now, quite a few people have asked me over the years, and one of my most popular videos is how to start page numbering on a completely different page other than page number two, because this element up here, this dialog box, only actually gives you the option of showing on the first page or not showing on the first page. But if you want to start your page numbering from, let's say, page four, then you need to do something slightly differently. So, let's just get rid of that. And let's just explain this a little better by changing our view. Let's go to multiple pages. Okay, so let's say we've got our document here and we maybe want to start our page numbering from the third page. So we want number one on this page here. So what we have to do is go to the page before you want the name page numbering to start, put your cursor at the end of the text, go up to insert, go to break, and then go to this section here called section break. Alternatively, you can go to layout, breaks, next page. In this section breaks here, it says next page and if I just turn on this icon here 
you can see at the bottom here there is a section break sometimes it will actually use the word section break and other times it will just use this dotted line so now what's happened is Word has basically divided your document into two sections and what will happen is when we ask Word to insert your page numbers now it will be able to identify the difference between these two sections. If we go to headers and footers by double clicking at the bottom of the document and then we go up to this section here. So this section here refers to all the linking of those sections. We can get a little bit complicated but ultimately it's about whether you want Word to recognize how you link items from the previous section to the following section. So as you can see down here it says same as previous. So this means that anything that we do to this footer is going to be exactly the same as this one. It's just going to simply follow on. So what we want to do is break the chain between these two pages. So what we need to do is to go to this section here that says link to previous and just click it. Once you've clicked it, that same as previous will disappear. It's the same for the header but we're currently, our cursor is in the footer, so it's unlinked these two sections. Additionally, you've got here footer section one and footer section two, which means now these two sections are completely unlinked. So now if we go to insert page numbers, page number, and then we want to show number on first page, I'm going to put my number in the middle, to format it. So this section here says continue from previous section. Well, we don't want that to happen because our numbers will then start at the beginning of the document. We want to click this section here, start at number one. And then we click OK. And then OK again. As you can see, we've got number one starting on page three. Now, of course, if you wanted to sort of start this on page five or seven, it doesn't really matter. All you have to do is just perform that linking, make sure you've inserted a section break, unlink the footers, and then you can go ahead and start inserting your page numbers. Now, once you've inserted your page numbers, then you can actually format them. So if I just click and drag onto my page number, just highlight the number, go up to the home tab and then of course you can use this font section here to change your page numbers and that might be to put them into bold, increase the size of them, change the colour, underline them, italics and of course you can change the font. So it really is up to you. Let's just reduce the size of that and then once you want to come out of it just double click inside your main document and then you can see your page numbers. Let's take that off, let's just zoom out and as you can see we've got two blank pages then one and two. So I hope that's helped you today, if it has please subscribe and have a great day.